Okay, this video is going to be about HTML5 videos in Bootstrap Studio, okay? So first I would suggest you make a folder. Um, I'm just called mine HTML5 and I'll just put a video file in there, an MP4 James Bond, okay? So now we have the, the new design here and we're just going to put in a row and a column, all right? Convert to HTML for uh, HTML5, HTML um, edit code. Okay, so just drag this up here a bit. So where it says the uh, div class column 12, we're just going to put it in there. All right. Okay, so the syntax for this is video height equals uh, you can put wherever you want but i'm going to put this as 500 okay width equals 350 maybe i think that'll be okay Oop. and then you put something called controls okay all right so now just put in the um <coughs> closing tag video all right, so the next line is going to be source and then src equals, and this is um, what your movie is. So we're just going to put movie.mp4, then type equals um, video and then a slash. I'll just put this in speech marks video slash mp mpg <laughs> mp4 okay so and then we just close that so the next line is basically the same as the one above but I do believe this is for Mac files if I'm not mistaken but then I don't have a Mac okay movie dot org and type equals v uh, video and then org all right and then you close that as well all right okay so i just apply that there okay so you see a little box thing there all right and you save your controls all right when that loads okay so that's an invalid source um, because it really isn't. I mean, I'm not sure if Edge actually plays MP, uh, MP4s. Um, I've actually put that as height 500. I'll just put that at height as 350. And the other way around, I've got that mixed up. And I'll just put that as five, 550 maybe and just apply that. Okay, so now you see in the the design take place if you like so there it is there yeah okay so what I want to do now is the file in the folder is called jamesbond.mp4 so what I want to do now is just put James Bond in here all right James Bond okay so just apply that all right now what I would do now is export this into that folder. Okay, so we find that folder and there it is there. So we just pop that in there. So I select folder. Okay, export. Okay, your di design was export ex exported. Now save. Okay, and then we'll just see what, what happens now. So we just go to this now and we just load it up and see if it works. So when you're doing these, you have to have the video into the same folder or certainly that's um, definite best practice is that. If that just came, come on. Okay, let's see what happens. There we go.
So there, there we have it. This is um, the sound bit here. Okay, so that's part of your control. And then I think that might be full frame. Okay. So I'll just turn that up so you can hear that. Okay. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, I mean, everybody likes James Bond, don't they? Um, and that's your HTML5 in Bootstrap Studio. As I say, the I mean, it's 2017 here, and some browsers don't support it. Um, I mean, you can put a, a thing, you know, you can put some writing saying, this video, you know, underneath, you could put, put this, your your something like uh, just a moment your browser may not support support this but you know whatever um, I usually if, if if a browser doesn't support it I would actually think that Internet Explorer might not and certainly the earlier versions won't um, and with that, it'll, it'll probably come up and saying this doesn't support this file, so you really don't need to put that in. But anyway, I just thought that was an interesting thing. HTML5, as I say, it goes into a, into this a folder um, of you know the same folder as where you want it. It's quite simple code, but you have to get all the, the stuff right. There's more controls you can actually do with it than that, but that's your basic html5 video so once again thanks for all the support on that and uh, thanks for watching